Today, I'm taking you on the ultimate prehistoric adventure. I'm currently exploring the wilds of the Hell Creek Formation in Montana during the Cretaceous period, approximately 65 million years ago. Now for a close encounter with Alamosaurus. This massive creature is one of the largest dinosaurs ever to walk the earth. With its long neck, it can reach vegetation at astonishing heights. Just imagine the amount of leaves and pine needles they need to sustain themselves. This one is a youngster, about 10 years old. When it's full grown, it will be three times this size. The Alamosaurus belongs to a group of long-necked dinosaurs known as sauropods. I met Argentinosaurus in the documentary Land of Giants. Sauropods were massive and due to their size they had few predators once they reached adulthood. It's incredible how evolution has sculpted these creatures into such unique and specialised forms. Now for a grandstand view of a fierce struggle between a Troceraptors and an armoured Ankylosaurus. Atrociraptors are intelligent dinosaurs that hunted in packs. They've got claws like razors and needle sharp teeth. An Ankylosaurus isn't an easy prey for any meat eating dinosaur. It's got armour plates on its back for protection against the bites of predatory dinosaurs. And at the end of the tail, that massive club, which they can wield in self-defense. With that, they could break the leg of a T-Rex or even kill one of these Atrociraptors. I think they're gonna go in search of easier prey and I'm gonna see what else I can find. You all know who this is, a Triceratops, a herbivorous dinosaur known for its iconic three horns massive frill and powerful build. These gentle giants graze on vegetation. They can be 30 feet long and weigh several tons. The horns and the frill are a defense against predators like T-Rex. They're also used in combat between rival Triceratops. The king of the dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus rex. The T-Rex and Triceratops have come to this water hole to drink. The Triceratops is a little nervous, but just like water holes in modern day Africa, you can get predators and prey together as long as the predator has just fed and isn't in hunting mode. T-Rex weren't just mindless killing machines, they were sophisticated predators. Recent research has shown that they may have even hunted in packs and have complex family behaviour. 